We have more of Nora O'Donnell's historic interview with Pope Francis that aired last night on 60 Minutes. It's the first time that any pope has spoken with an American broadcast network for an extended conversation of this kind. More of that conversation is going to air in a primetime special tonight here on CBS. Nora asked the pope about many contemporary issues, including social media's effect on young people. I have three teenage children, and one of the big issues is social media and mental health. What is social media doing to the world and our children? Communication media, some of them are very good because they have a conscience. They know how to report the news and things and also how to render criticism. And that is very good because it helps with development, right? But there are communication media that alienate young people, don't they? It makes them live in an unreal world made up of fantasy or in an aggressive world or a rosy world and so many things. The media has a serious responsibility, a media outlet that only lives off propaganda, off gossip, off soiling others, is a dirty media outlet. And that soils the minds of the young and of the old as well. Today, how many hours does a person spend in front of the TV or on their little phones? How many hours? their little phones. Mm. Nora O'Donnell joins us now. Nora, good morning to you. Good morning. Wow. This must be a big deal to have Nora O'Donnell That's in the right. studio in the morning. <laughs> and it I'm was here, I'm back. Deal. Just saying. I'm back. It's a very big deal. <laughs> yes. It's great to have you here. You know, as I was watching, uh, it was great to see him thinking on his feet and taking all questions, but I was also thinking about you as one of the tens of millions of Catholics in this country and the first journalist to sit down for this kind of conversation with any pope. What was going through your mind? I mean, when we got the call that this was a go, we said, hallelujah. <laughs> but this was a lot of hard work that went into this. I mean, a decade we've been asking for an interview with the Pope because we knew this would be a historic making interview because this is a different kind of yes. Pope. You know, he's the first from the Americas, the first from the Southern Hemisphere, the first Jesuit, and he's been much more progressive and inclusive. So, you know, I grew up Catholic, so that certainly made me interested in this. But as a journalist, this is kind of the biggest interview that I could think of to get. And so it's the interview of a lifetime, and he went there on all topics. We had an hour with the Pope, and we'll have most of that tonight. That, um, that's what I wanted to ask you about. For people who saw 60 Minutes and said, well, I've already seen the interview, Nora. What more can you say? And did you have any ground rules with him where you told you can't ask this, this, this? Was there anything like that? There were no ground rules, and quite frankly, we were stunned that we got an hour with the Pope. I mean, we were thinking, you know, maybe we'd get a handshake when we first asked him a couple, you know, a couple questions, but he gave us a full hour. He greeted everyone in the room. You know, when I shook his hand, I said, okay, let's sit down. He said, no, I wanted to greet everyone. Mm -hmm. So you see at 87 years old, his warmth yeah. comes across, his intelligence comes across, his conviction comes across, and so tonight, we just have more time to go into a lot of these in-depth issues. So you see part of the Pope that I think probably you haven't seen anywhere else. And at his age, his awareness on contemporary issues. Mm -hmm. um, you, you talked about him being unconventional, as we all know. What is your takeaway of what he wants his legacy to be? You know, I asked him that. What do you want your legacy to be? And he said he hasn't thought about it. The church is his legacy. Mm. I think what's remarkable about Pope Francis is he's changed um, the tune of the church, but not the lyrics. So not a lot of church doctrine has changed, mm -hmm. but look at the way he's talked about um, gay people. Who mm -hmm. am I to judge, he says. He meets regularly with transgender wow. Catholics. Mm -hmm. He puts showers for the homeless in St. Peter's Square. Mm. The Pope Mobile, Gail, you've yes. noticed that. Yes. He took down all of the bulletproof, the bulletproof stuff yes. and lets kids yeah. in there. Carries his own luggage. Carries yes. his own, yes. yes. Fran he took the name after St. Francis of Assisi, humility. All of those mm. things um, to try and change the look, certainly when the church is at a, ca at a crossroads, but there are 1.4 billion 
Catholics worldwide. Yeah. yeah, and it's been holding steady. And, you know, he spoke often last night about everybody. He wants everybody to feel addressed and included, and that was important to hear. One particular group he cares a lot about, uh, children. Uh, World Children's Day, a first-of-its-kind of, uh, event, uh, that he hopes will be part of his legacy. What's the goal for today? Yeah, I mean, there is something called World Children's Day that's coming up next weekend. They expect some 70,000 youth there. I think this pope, this church, knows that there is declining membership and attendance, certainly in the United States. Yeah. So they are trying to make an outreach um, to the young. But he also, you know, he doesn't watch TV, but he's very familiar with what's going on. He talked about, there's going to be refugees there, too. He talked about the children in Gaza. He talked about the children of Ukraine, who he says don't smile That's anymore. It was very haunting the way he said that. And so he has a deep spirituality. Yeah. And, you know, even when I challenged him on surrogacy, which the Catholic Church opposes, he said, he said to me, I understand how deeply you feel about this, and I appreciate that. So he was really engaging in a, in a, in a way that was um, yeah. enlightening. Well, yeah. producer John Tower says we're out of time, we have to go. But I say Nora O'Donnell's in the room. I just have to ask one thing. <laughs> I have never seen you nervous. Nora, never. I know. I've worked with you a long, long time. I'm wondering if you were nervous talking to the Pope, because every time I see that picture, I love the picture of the two of you and you're shaking his hand. I can only imagine what this meant to you personally. Were you nervous talking to him? I was so were nervous. You? I was so yeah. nervous because I wanted to get it right and I knew how important this was. Yeah. I, I'm still nervous, but it's, yeah. it's going to air tonight and <laughs> yes. then I'll be okay. okay. Well, and a, a billboard on Times Square. Yeah, billboard and on you Times got it Square. right. Yeah, yeah you, and got, you it right. got it right. You got As you always do. And the Pope Congrats. complimented your empathy, which is right on point. Thank so you. thank you, Nora. Thank Tony, you. we're tight on time. We have to go. Oh, sorry. We got it. I'm going to rush through this. You can watch more of Nora's historic interview with Pope Francis in a primetime special at 10 9 central here on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus.